Cowabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing my 169th Mezco Toys 112 Collective action figure review, this time being of Death Dealer. Now taking a look at the front, we can see that this figure comes in a very large box with that amazing Frazetta artwork. So with the box out of the way, let's go ahead and crack this figure open and let him breathe. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at Death Dealer. Now this guy looks freaking amazing man, such a cool character. I mean Frazetta's work is just so iconic, so unique. And of course Mezco captured it beautifully in this awesome action figure. Now the head sculpt looks fantastic. I love the ornateness of this. How they take those like flat grays mixed in with some gun metals and some golds. It just looks so good. I love how they designed that. Things like the armor here, the little shoulder pads and harness that he has here. Uh, with some mixed with sculpted chain looks really good. We got that really nice wash in there. Again, all the intricacy and detail of Frazetta's work is captured just great here with this awesome figure. I love the texturing of the belt, given that leather-like material really looks like it's worn and dirty and he's seen some battle, looks fantastic. Uh, this is utilizing the Conan buck, so you got those like more uh, veiny, uh, really beat up arms and things like that just done in the blue skin. Looks really good. I love almost the leather-like material here that we're getting for his like tunic to make it look like actual hide. I think that's really great. Uh, we do get a nice skirt piece under here with bendy wire that I think is awesome so you can pose that around and do what you like here. The boots look fantastic, really makes it look like pounded metal and things like that. We even got the spurs on the back right here and you can see the leather straps and buckles on there as well. Looking very, very awesome. And I absolutely love all the real chain mail that we get with this. I mean, that is a lot of chain mail. And this actually gives a lot of weight to the figure, uh, which is just, again, makes him feel like very good quality, man. And again, in my opinion, Mezco makes great quality figures here. And this definitely feels like a premium piece. Okay, so now let's talk accessories here because he comes with some just really badass stuff here. Uh, so we do got four pairs of interchangeable hands. We got things like closed fisted hands. Uh, we got more gripping hands and then different types of loose, almost open palm gripping hands that all work out really great. So pretty much everything you're going to need. So those are all beautifully detailed as well. Oh, uh, we got a bunch of different weapons here. We of course do have his curved iconic axe with the blood on it. I think that is so dope, but such a great looking weapon. I love how Mezco details their stuff like that. And we of course do get his sword with his scabbard and then a knife in the sheath, which is really good too. And then that giant beautiful shield, man. Oh my God, I freaking love that thing. Uh, and this shield just looks so gorgeous. Again, I love how it looks like actual pounded metal and you can tell that he's used it you can see like this, this could be at the bottom maybe like dried up blood or dirt where he's stuck it in the ground or maybe he's beaten things with it you know what i mean uh but i love the little bird logo right there even on the inside it's really nicely detailed and the best way to do this is to honestly slide it over a gripping hand then put the strap in a gripping hand so it holds it really well but i just think that is such a great look and then again give him his iconic axe like that with the blood on that i just think that is so dope man uh they just did a really good job with his gear here again giving it that really battle worn look i just love it so much we also do get actual metal chain and these little hook pieces to hook on things like his holster, scabbard for his sword, and other stuff like that. Uh, to be honest, I absolutely hate these things. I hated them on the Conan figure, and I hate them just as equally here, so I'll honestly never use those things. Moving on, he also comes with these really sweet looking orc heads, which I think are fantastic. I mean, he just decapitated these dudes, sliced these guys in half. I love the one where she's pretty much half a head, uh, just dripping in blood. I think that is so cool looking. 
I mean, he freaking decimated these guys. He also comes with a second head that you can actually hold in his hand. I love how beat up and just jacked that one looks. And it also comes with these little grooves in the hair here that you could fit in a gripping hand. So you could have him actually carrying it around. And you can just see how gnarly that is, dude. Such an awesome look. I absolutely love how they did that. He also comes with these really two, two awesome blood effect pieces. You got this like blood splattering effect, which is really nice. And then you got this like almost a wind, more windswept slashing blood effect, which looks really cool. And the great thing about this is, about both these pieces, um, these can be made, or excuse me, be used for things like the axe, like so, if you want to have them swing in the axe like that with the blood effect. Or it also has a separate groove for something like the sword there so it can make it look like you're slashing with the sword with the same effect i think that's super cool and it's the same thing with this more poundy effect you can actually take the uh, sword there and use it on the sword like so or if you want to use it for the axe like this get that in there like that you could use it like that as well so it's really genius how they designed both these blood effects to be used for multiple weapons so that, again that's pretty smart and i do appreciate that Next up, we do get some swappable gear here. Uh, so we actually do get a separate cape for him if you wanna do that. And this is a really nice thick material. This doesn't really feel cheap at all, but I love how dirty and tattered it is. You even got some holes in there. And this does have a bendy wire in it, so you could pose it around and do as you like. Uh, the best way to do this is of course, take off the ball peg, or the, excuse me, the head, the ball peg. Why would you take off the ball peg? Uh, but take that off like that, and then put it on over that like so. And then you have a really new look for Death Dealer. He also does come with an alternate head sculpt, so we're gonna pop this one off right here, and we're gonna put on this new one, which is really cool too. Uh, kind of crazy how awesome both of these designs are, but they really are very, very different. And again, I love the ornateness here with the silvers and gun metals, those more natural-like painted horns, you got the spike at the top, you got these gold trims on the back. I mean, that thing looks very cool. Again, I just love Frazetta's work, man. Just so unique and so, gorgeously badass if that's if that's a saying you know what i mean uh but he also does come with a different harness and belt here and you can see the different harnesses and belts compared side to side you know pop on the different helmets so you can get very different looks for both or for either versions that you want to create or mix and match parts and do whatever you want get your favorite look for death dealer here it's your toy mix and match and play with them however you like either way he's gonna look super awesome and then the last thing I'm gonna show off here is, I usually start off with a stand, but I wanted to end with the stands here because this is just showing off that beautiful Frazetta art again. That iconic image of Death Dealer looking awesome with his shield, that bloody ax, the eyes glowing that bright red. Um, you can see he's riding his horse there. You can even see uh, like the spurs on his boots, the sword hanging from the back there. I mean, so cool, so iconic. And of course it does come with a clear articulated arm, but damn dude, like this is one of those things that I kind of just want to hang on the wall. You know what I mean? That's how beautiful this stand is. Now, one of the best things about this figure, in my opinion, is that he does have an LED feature. So we're going to pop off the head like so, and you can see the LED in there. It is on a standard drum, so you're going to give it a little twist and pull it out right there. It does come with little button cell batteries that you can place in yourself. You're going to have a little on and off switch right there, and you can see the LED already lit up. And we're going to slide the drum back in like that, give it a little twist, and then we're going to pop a head back on like that, and boom, you can already see how those eyes are glowing, which looks so incredible, man. They shine so good through the helmet there. I love how that looks. Uh, we're gonna pop that one off. We can pop on the other head sculpt, and you can see how the eyes glow through that one as well. These eyes are a little more narrow, so it won't show as much, but you can see, see, still see how great that really looks, man. But for me, you know, since it has the bigger eye holes, uh, that just looks so dope in my opinion. Wow, I love how they did that, man. It looks so freaking good. All right, so now let's break down the articulation here. Uh, since this head is on a ball peg, but it doesn't have the any real neck joint because, the, uh, because of the LED feature, you're really not gonna get a whole lot. So no real up and down, no real pivoting. You're mostly gonna get left and right there. Arms can go all the way up full 360 if you want to, all the way down to the side like that, all the way up like so, 
rotation at the bicep, we got double jointed elbows that work very nicely, rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist. We do get that ball peg in the midsection that rolls around. I do believe it's a double ball peg, just like Conan. So down in the midsection, going into his crotch and one into his upper uh, chest there. So that rolls around, does turn left and right. Pivot side to side, decent amount. Crunches back and forth a little bit. You know, things like the bulky belt and all the fabrics is going to get in the way a little. We can lift up his skirt here and you can see all his goodies. So we can kick for it up and for that much back. Pretty decent. Splits all the way out. That's actually really, really nice. Rotation in that upper thigh. We got double jointed knees that work pretty well. Uh, nothing at the boot. Ankles are on ball pegs, so you can go up and down a little bit. Uh, rotate left and right very nicely. And a eh, decent ankle rocker. So overall, I freaking love this dude. He is definitely one of the best figures, in my opinion, that Mezco has made. Uh, my only real issue here is going to be that at retail he was too damn expensive because he came with all this extra crap that i personally don't need uh, i just want the figure so they upcharged you for like that poster and all this extra side stuff that you that you could get um that's fine if you're a giant frazetta fan i'm sure you want all that stuff but for me who someone just wants the figures uh, it was way too expensive in my opinion i wish going forward if they want to do things like that maybe give us different versions a cheaper version where you just get the figure and his accessories and all the stuff like that or a deluxe version with all that extra stuff like posters and pins and patches and shirts and all that extra stuff they like to throw in so i wish there would be like tears you know what i mean so but still even with that aside he's so incredible i love what mezco did with this guy such an iconic piece and for me a definite must get so for a quick size comparison here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and Mafex Batman figure. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to a Mezco 112 Collective Conan. And for even more comparison, here he is standing next to a Masters of the Universe Classics He-Man and Mythic Legions Celtus. And just for fun, here he is with little Lego Bat-Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Mezco 112 Collective Death Dealer. Now I absolutely love this piece as I very much love that Conan figure and I know he's a very sought out piece today. Uh, we even do have other versions of Conan coming out later on down the road which I'm really excited about. But getting this whole Frazetta world is really awesome man and Death Dealer's whole look and vibe was always so awesome and always so iconic. So it's really cool getting him in one of my all-time favorite action figure lines. And Mezco freaking killed it with his piece. The articulation works very well. The paint, of course, is beautifully detailed. I love, like, the rusted parts and worn and that he's seen some battle and things are dirty and bloody and grimy. I love that so freaking much. The soft goods are really nicely done. I freaking love all the chainmail that we get. It gives a lot of heft to the figure. His different weapons, like his axe and blood effects, and those orchids are just so freaking cool. And I love the interchangeable parts like the capes, the harness, the belt, and those head sculpts. Both of those are incredible. I love the LED feature, even though it does hinder articulation on that joint. I get it, but the eyes just look so good glowing that brightly red through the helmets. Man, that's awesome. Such a great piece, and I think he would look awesome in all of your collections. So be excellent to each other, and stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.